Hello, I'm going to review a few of my favorite or most used accessibility tools on the iPad. So when you go into settings, under accessibility, you can find a variety of built-in tools. The one I've been using a lot while remote is this assistive touch, which is the dot I'm using to draw your attention to what I'm about to touch. To turn it on is under assistive touch. And then I have that dot that I can kind of use as my laser pointer, if you will. There's other things to check out with assistive or within touch accommodations. Uh, another thing that I find very useful for a lot of learners is the spoken content accessibility features. So this is how you can get the text to speech or kind of screen reader features. So under spoken content, Speak Selection and Speak Screen are two very useful features. Speak Selection will give you the ability to highlight text and have it spoken, and Speak Screen is a way to read the entire screen. So when you swipe from the top with two fingers, it'll read the whole screen. You also might want to consider turning on Highlight Content, so this will highlight each word as it's spoken. And something to always think about when using text to speech is trying to make sure you have your speaking rate or reading rate as high as you can comprehend, which can take some training over time. But generally, you can listen much faster than people typically speak so that you can be reading with your ears as fast as peers are reading with their eyes. Another feature that is often useful is turning on any of the speech to text or voice typing any of the other keyboarding tools. So these are no longer under accessibility. They're under general and under keyboard. So here, there are many keyboard or um, grammar features that can be turned on or off. So down here is the enabled dictation. So that's the voice typing or speech to text. So once you turn that on, you'll have the a little microphone on your keyboard wherever you can type. And then there are other things including whether or not auto capitalization or spell check is on, also the predictive text, so that's when it's gonna have the bar at the top of the keyboard with the three different words it thinks that you're working on typing or that might go after the previous word. So sometimes these are turned off on our school devices and you might wanna help students turn them on or request those be, to be turned on for specific students who need it. So make sure that you check in the abil uh, accessibility of the built-in items. Um, Apple often adds and creates new features that can be useful. So it's a good thing to just kind of mess around with every so often and make sure that there isn't something that would be useful that you didn't know about. And now I'll show a couple of the reader tools. So if you are on a website like this, and you swipe from the top for the screen reader, it's gonna read everything. NASA, search nasa.gov, search. So having it read all the search bar stuff, not necessarily useful, so this might be a situation where you have the kids highlight what they want to be read to them, and there's the speak. My name is Nebula, welcome. So, that's a useful tool depending on what the page looks like. And then if you're on a page where the text is pretty clear and you can just have it read the whole page, then this would be a good time to use the swipe from the top to have it just start reading the whole page. And this little A is up in the URL bar. There's an option for reader view, which not all websites support, but those that do, it's pretty useful. So if you click on the reader view, it gets rid of if there were ads on this page, um, or anything else like the search bars at the top. So now it looks like just a document to be read. And that can be useful for even kids who are just reading with their eyes. But now if you swipe from the top, it'll read the whole document. Would you like to be an astronaut? Access the image. You do not have to be Superman. And because I have that highlight content as it's spoken turned on, it highlights each word. So those are some useful tools for having things read aloud, then when you're on the
typing, I was going to show. So because we've turned on dictation, the microphone is now here, but it's not automatically on. And that predictive text gives us these at the top. So as I type, it's going to guess the words. So that can be useful for some students. And for other students, that can be um, a big distraction. So it might be something that you need to turn off. So I hope those tips and strategies help.